Good morning and happy Friday, good people. This is your Pool Proof Wisdom Moment. Are you feeling like you don't have enough time? That you're always out of it? That you never can quite capture it so that you can control how you're going to spend a day, a week, a month? Or is it really that what you've run out of time is not time as it relates to everybody else, but time for you? Are you the person who finds time to do everything else that they're supposed to do, meet all their commitments, whatever they may be, as it relates to anyone else, your children, your family, your school board, the volunteer organization that you're working with, you find time for all of it. But at the end of all of that, you're sitting down and you're thinking about the things you've gotten to do that you've wanted to do for yourself, whether that was take a class or go and get a massage or just spend some time quietly reading a book or listening to music that brings you joy. Time for everyone else but yourself. Well, if you are not finding time for yourself, that good person is on you. You've got to carve it out. And that's not something that you need to feel guilty about is if you're taking time away from everyone else, because as you certainly know, I'm a big proponent, a huge proponent of understanding that what we are able to give other people is directly proportional to what we're willing and able to give ourselves. And if you're not making time for yourself, you're going to run that battery down. You're going to empty that emotional reservoir to such an extent that you're going to end up resenting what you're giving to other people because you feel as if they're taking all of your time when in fact you're giving away all of your time. And it's a wonderful thing to help other people. I love doing it. I believe in doing it. But I also believe first in filling up our own reservoir so that we've got something in the tank, so to speak, for ourselves. Because without that, we're running on empty and eventually we're going to stop. And you know who suffers most when we end up stopping? We do. Because we have nothing to give ourselves and are only trying to figure out ways to give whatever little bit of energy we have left to someone else. Start with you and watch how that blossoms in terms of what you're able to give everyone else. So find time for yourself. No matter what it is, no matter what the avenue that you're going to travel will lead you to, if it's going to be good for you, give it to yourself and stop accepting the fact that you have no time. Start accepting the fact that you have to make the time. And once you make the time, you'll find the opportunity to be the full person that you aspire to be. That I tell you, good person, I guarantee. Have yourself a great weekend, for that's your Pool Proof Wisdom Moment for today, and I will look forward to speaking with you again next week. Make some time for yourself, starting with today. I'll see you next time.